Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is Donna from Tarot Tarot. Hopefully you can hear me. There are people sleeping, so I'm just, I'm determined to do a quick read for you. Um, when I was shuffling, I got the impression that a lot of you, um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus folks are going through a situation in which uh, there's frustration. There may, there's something or someone, there's a person you're dealing with. Um, and there's some type of unhealthy attachment, some type of obsession. Um, it might be a third person, or it could be some type of addiction or something to something. Or it could be an addiction to cheating, I don't know. Um, but something that's making you uh, lose sleep, and you're just wanting to take a step back and you know, just put it, at, you know, at distance and just maybe see what else is out there. You're just, you're not happy. You're not happy. So I shuffled and, okay, so the six of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Um, there's a lot of eyes on you and there's a lot of eyes on your situation, actually. I think there's a lot of eyes on you and this other person and what's going on. Um, so this must be something in which a lot of people know about. Um, they may know stuff that you don't know. They may know things that they think you don't know. Let's take a look. Oh, man. First card. And this came out when I was when I was shuffling. This came out. So this has all to do with unhealthy attachments. Whether it's cheating, lying, gambling, drugs, alcoholism, something. Um, something really unhealthy could be just codependency but I think it's a lot more than that I mean when it's at the top of the like this is the first card out this is this is what things are you know what the situation at hand is this could be a toxic relationship um, but something very unhealthy is it at the top of things it, There's a need for big transformation, ending things that are unhealthy, transforming, um, rebirth, and renewing um, to make you stronger, to make them stronger, to make your life stronger. Um, I mean, you, I know you've been looking at what has come of this so far, you know, from the beginning you know, what has come about, what is, what's been made, what's been created, maybe what's been lost, but just, you know, what has happened. And you need a, a rest. <laughs> you need a break. You need to take care of yourself. Um, take care of yourself so you can grow and be healthy and happy. You want stability so you want to maybe start over in some way either with them or without them but you want to make a new start for stability and you want that you just want to move to a position of calmness get rid of the stress you just don't want to be stressed you're tired of that you don't want to deal with that crap anymore because it's been heartbreaking. It's been heartbreaking. And left you feeling stuck. So if you've been like holding out and waiting for somebody to change or let go of something um, and it's breaking your heart and you're feeling stuck because you don't know what to do because there may have been a lot of shadiness. Things have been things hidden from you. Um, kept it from you. It's interesting how in each read, <laughs> this card comes right before the sun. <laughs> I don't know if that's su to suggest that you've been dealing with somebody with Leo placements who's been hiding something, or you want to move on from somebody who has been hiding things from you so you could be happier. Um... And you're defending yourself from, com I don't know, I want to say competitors, but you're defending yourself against, you know, things 
protecting yourself, defending yourself. There's a need to, the feeling like you need to defend yourself in some way, protect yourself. I think you're, um, you're looking for answers um, because you've been feeling just mentally done and done in every way with this. Um, so there needs to be a conversation. Um, there needs to be a conversation that's going to bring answers because you've been feeling stabbed in the back and just really done wrong. So where is this headed in the future? Um, if you're still, wow, Gemini, you're still making a decision. In the future, it shows you, look, at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. This is success. This is at the heart of all this. You want to be successful in your relationship, your life. And in the future, you're still going to be feeling stuck and unable to make a decision, at least in the near future. Um can't see the way you're trying to see what to do and you it's like you're being blinded I don't know if it's by emotion um, but you're just not seeing everything you need to see not seeing everything around you to be able to make this decision or you feel like you, you can't see everything you can't make a decision because you you feel like you don't have all the the answers but this is um still being stuck so it's still in a holding pattern I feel like yeah, there's a hang. I was gonna say there's a hangman in here, because the heartbreak has left you feeling stuck, and here you are still for now, for the near future, you're still having a hard time deciding. Um, Gemini, who are we reading for next? I don't know if this has brought you any clarity or not. Um, um, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with lots of Saggy energy in their chart. If it is, it's possibly the more toxic um, energy from a Sagittarius of wanting to play the field and live it up and you know drinking drugs um, maybe lots of sex outside the relationship maybe sex with um, anyone or anything <laughs> um, maybe they have a gambling addiction I don't know so Gemini, I wish I had a better message for you right now, but hang in there. <laughs> yeah, hang in there. <laughs> um, there is going to be happiness, because look at this. The sun card is at the center of everything. So, you know, happiness is on the way. Um, you're going to be able to make that decision. And you'll, you'll be doing that. You'll be making that decision, and things are going to work out. Um, thank you, and I will see you in um, the next read for Sagittarius. All right, love you guys.